So the free-to-play, looter, shooter, survival, MMO-like game, Once Human, releases today. Don't know if this video will be out before or after, but regardless, if you're looking to get into it, I thought I should make this quick video to let you know what you are actually getting into. You could look at this as a more positive video or a more negative video based on what you think and what kind of games you personally like to play, but because Once Human doesn't make it 100% very clear what their goals are with this game, but really quick, I do gotta plug the channel's part instant gaming if you're looking for cheap games on xbox playstation pc and even nintendo check out the link in the description down below or if you just want to join the free monthly game giveaway there's a link right next to that one but with one's human seasonal wipes the way that it works is every six weeks the game will wipe and i know before you get crazy i want to explain how the wipes actually work with every six week season reset these are the things that you will not lose you will not lose them regardless and they are tied to your character the first thing is your your star crumb, your star source, your marks, your stellar currency, your sproutlets, your blueprints, your blueprint fragments, your weapon accessories, your weapon mods you get to keep, your furniture stuff, your fashion, your skins, your name card, your character data, what, what, what your character looks like basically, your buildings, your house, the blueprint to all your houses you can save and they carry over to every season, all your journey progress and all of your friends list, all that will always carry carry over into the next six week season now the things that you can transfer via eternal land and if you want to know more about eternal land there's probably some videos up on youtube basically it's your own personal world your personal hub that never gets wiped you can make your own village of your own buildings whatever you got to do if you deposit items that are weapons armor all your resources your bullets your medicine your buffs your food all that you can put into eternal land to carry over to the next season that is completely free but but when the new season starts and you want to pull out your previously deposited weapons, armor, resources, bullets, etc., it will cost a currency in order to bring it into the next season. It is not a paid currency to my knowledge, it is a completely free to obtain currency, but that is the only way to pull previous season items into the mainline season for whatever's going on now. And then finally, the things that will never carry over from the first six week season to the next is your character's level, your energy link, your map and stronghold exploration progress, obviously your seasonal challenges, will not be carrying over season to season every six weeks. Now, this is subject to change. This game is going to freshly come out on the 9th when, coincidentally, I'm recording this video. Unless they do some last second change and this video is completely useless or they decide in a month or so to remove it, I personally think I do not mind this whole system and it's very engaging, but one thing I do not like is on the season reset, your levels get completely wiped. That is something I'm not a huge fan of, especially every six weeks. You got to think of the people that have jobs, they have kids, they maybe play a few hours a day. Are you saying that the people that don't play a lot are going to experience a lot of FOMO and kind of get left behind when it goes over into the next season? We don't really know how this is going to work out. The devs have kind of given us little bits and pieces of information information but in reality i had no idea this system was a thing until like three days ago which i don't understand i i, I get why they want to keep it fresh but i feel like for a almost an mmo style game where you're spending hundreds of hours grinding for resources grinding to make a beautiful pretty base it almost seems kind of tedious to build up a new base every six weeks six months maybe six months sounds like okay half a year that's a lot of time to eventually get bored of the game but six weeks i imagine the players that are really dedicated to this game putting in 10 12 hours a day they're probably going to reach the end game within a week and if that's the case if those dedicated players only take them a week imagine the people that only play two to three hours a day there's no way they're going to reach that same level of progression within a six week period to where they can keep up with the game and that will inevitably lead to a decline in player base and obviously we don't want to see that this game looks great the game looks cool but when i heard about the seasonal system personally it was a huge turnoff i'm not used to playing seasonal wipe games i do play wiping games like rust and all that but i feel like those games are made and curated to be played in such a way and with the market that once human is trying to reach especially being a free-to-play title i don't really see it being too successful but again maybe everybody on reddit everybody on youtube has 
is the wrong idea in this system isn't as harsh and as bad as we think it's going to be. But coming from my perspective, everything I'm reading, all the other YouTubers and what they're putting out, it sounds like a unnecessary time gate limitation on a game where arguably it feels like one of those games that are best served at your own pace. And I feel like all players should be able to experience the content regardless of the amount of time they are able to sink into the game in a six week period so that's just my opinion guys i want to put this video out there for all the people if you're hopping into one's human right now and you're playing it or maybe you're watching this as servers are uh, bugged or crashed because so many people are trying to log in but just know what you are currently getting yourself into if this sounds like your cup of tea then hey great that it sounds fun me personally i'll give it one six week reset i'll enjoy the game give it the best shot it has because i love the way it looks i love the way it plays played all of the demos and we'll see if it is like this and there's no changes and the every six week reset is monotonous and after the six weeks you're just experiencing the same thing with a little bit of new things sprinkled in i feel like this game will not have too much longevity and that really does concern me but let me know your honest opinions in the comments down below are you enjoying once human are you even going to play once human after learning this information it does help out a lot if you hit the like button down below as it does spread out my content to more people in the community and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any other video for me guys stay safe and i'll see you all later